Hey, welcome back to the Ruby Tuesday. My name's Ruben, and this is my review for Netflix's new Thai series called Delete. Now, we'll be talking about the ending. I'll do a sort of explained at the end, but for now, it's just, it's just a non spoiler review. It has eight episodes, they're around about 45 minutes apiece, and I'm kind of excited to talk about this. Let's jump in. A complicated relationship with secrets to hide and a grim question to ponder. Who do you want to delete from your life? So the series is kind of an oxymoron. In one hand, you have very fast dialogue and if you don't speak the language, you're going to have to be reading quickly. Much like a Netflix animated series we had recently that was Italian, reading the subtitles is very quick. But then the actual show that this is, the drama, the long forlorn stares that you have, the romance and the drama, combined with those very long drawn out shots makes this for a like i said at the beginning an oxymoron because on one hand incredibly fast dialogue spoken when spoken and then on the other hand very long and drawn out episodes however because of the sci-fi nature of our storyline it leaves you intrigued enough to keep watching. And I would say if you get past the third episode, you're probably going to be drawn into the story then much more. Because we have a trio romance here that affects all our lesser than, not lesser than actors, but lesser than characters, lesser main protagonists. And so we have a trio of a relationship here, a husband and wife not doing too well. The husband in particular at the beginning even comes across as a bit of a douchebag. And then as his story unfolds and we get to know a little bit about two, um, you will percept your own perceptions about that. And then we see the, the lover you want to call him. And that triangle messes with so much anyway. If that was the story, the drama in that story would be enough to, I think, entice most people because it gets dark and it, it, it comes across as a, I guess, a soap similar to Days of Our Lives, not quite on that level because it has that drawn out drama, those sequences of, you know, when they're looking in certain directions or when they're taking a particularly long time to get wherever they're going or they show every single sequence, you know, you're following with the camera out of the door, into the car, starting the car, all of that. There's a bunch of content that could have been cut out, but because it's it's edited and created much like a soap, you do get that similarity there. However, to make this a bit more interesting, you get the, the reason why it's called delete. There is a, a gadget that takes pictures and makes people disappear when you take pictures of them with this particular device. And it's the law around this device that makes this story pretty interesting because it's how they use it and how they further expand the law of this. Now, I'm not going to say anything more about the device because I think you need to let the mystery unfold about the mysteries of the device that itself um, and how it interacts with the characters. I think that is probably the most fun I had with the series. So I didn't mind the drama and I think the acting for the most part is good. I've always had a little, of an, a little bit of an issue with Thai series on Netflix particularly because they come across as not that well filmed. They come across as like they need to learn a bit more about filming techniques, how you set up a scene how much of whatever you need in that shot how much to edit now i would say this still definitely work as into the cultural specifics of how you do a show like this what i mean by that is there's certain cultures have fast paced techniques uh, in the uk we like to have it pretty quick unless we're doing massive monologues in the us they do long series a lot of the time with 22 episodes so it depends on which part of the world you hail from when i've watched a bunch of thai content on netflix it does feel very soapy and very tv like but i'm happy to report this is not the case for all of this series it is definitely that soap in nature but the cinematography the way it's filmed actually looks fantastic the night shots in particular very well done very atmospheric there's a little bit of horror in here that I wasn't expecting. Some gory scenes, some atmosphere created in a certain amount of the episodes. Definitely past that third episode as we start getting into the meat of the story. As a deeper arc is revealed, not just with the device, but one particular character. What they're up to, who they are, that all comes into play. Now, if you can think that this might be one of the reasons why we haven't ever had superpowers or we don't actually have gadgets like this because humans will always take the thing that could be used for good <laughs> and then use it for bad the worst possible thing so everybody 
all the characters, once they know what this device does, everybody's trying to get their hands on it. And we're seeing the reveal of human nature in its worst. There's very few protagonists to actually root for. It's just seeing how the next person is going to get this device and how they're going to use it. And then the repercussions of using us what does that mean so that was all very intriguing but i did find it kind of annoying i didn't like too many of the main protagonists apart from one and even then how they go about what they do it's human nature i guess to be selfish almost every single thing we do in life is selfish in nature even giving money or helping somebody is going to serve you in somewhat and so they they play a little bit with that selfish theme what would you do who would you delete in your life is literally the log line for this series and that is portrayed very well with our actors here i think they do a fantastic job between the costume and the score the atmosphere you get the theme and the story that the directors are trying to tell that the writers have created here it does leave it open for a second season. We have a story completion arc, but there is a bigger arc that they're setting up that they haven't completed and definitely feels like they want to do more. As a one-time watch, I'm going to give this three Nicolas Cages out of five, this new kind of style. Congratulations. I think it's solid, but I do think it's slow. I think a lot of people will tap out, but if you give it time, I think you'll find the premise and the core story really interesting, especially because of that device and then how it mixes with the romance or the drama or the thriller part of the story inside there. You will probably come to know some of where the story is going because it's predictable in parts, but there were some that I didn't see coming, which is where I talk about the ending. So if you don't want to hear about the ending, then this is your place to kind of tap out. So the ending we see two, who's kind of revealed then, I'm, I'm in, we're pretty much near already anyway, but he has all these boxes with bodies in them. And we see one of our main protagonists in the box as she watches. I mean, in one place, we've literally just seen two deleting, how do you pronounce the name? Yu Yuhachi to get Lily back. And Aim falsely claims that the child is twos. She wants to give him another chance. So we have all these things happening in the last episode. But it's that final few minutes that really gives us the hook. Delete doesn't let us know at the end what will happen to Lily and the nature of Two's relationship with Thong that was revealed with that photograph that we saw. I think there's going to be one more season. I think it's written like that. And the way of the device's mechanics work by deleting one person. But if you delete that person that deleted another person, they come back. I think that's all going to come into play. I eventually think we're going to have everything return because we may get back to the origin, original person. I think two is going to play a part in that. We will see why he has that relationship with Thong. It's going to be an interesting way to go. It was a much darker ending than I was expecting. Let me know your thoughts of where you think they're going to go with the second season. I do feel like they're going to play a lot more with the, the origins of the device. Show us what more you can do with it. I think there are some more skills or different ways you could use it. Perhaps there's another little flap that they haven't actually figured out yet that it has more abilities. It'll be an interesting way to go. I like what they've done with it so far. But I do think the reveal will bring everybody back, which will mess up everybody's lives once again, including the bodies that have now disappeared into that kind of land of nowhere. Let me know your thoughts and feelings by, about this. Thanks so much for watching. But most of all, until next time, remember, live long on Tuesday.